Hey everybody, welcome back. Today in Simple Trader, we are going to be taking a look at cleaning up our view model factories. So I recently got a comment from one of my great subscribers who was like, do I really need to be creating all of these view model factories? It takes so many classes, because as you can see, we pretty much have a view model factory for every single class. And these factories are great because they take our services and then whenever we need a specific type of view model, we can just call create view model and get that view model. And we don't need to know anything about how that view model works, the services that it takes, because that's all handled by the factory. And the factory gets injected into our service container or gets registered with our service container. So it gets all those services that it needs and then it just does its job and creates the view model. But I agree, it is kind of annoying having to create all of these factory classes that really don't do anything special. They just hold the services that the view model needs and creates the view model. So is there a better way to do this? That's what I was thinking. Can we get away from creating these view model factories? And I did some testing and I think I found somewhat of a better solution. So what we're going to do right off the bat, I'm just going to delete every single view model factory because people just don't like the view model factories. We don't want to create all those classes. We need an alternative. So let's get rid of all those. And while we're at it, we can just call this the I simple trader view model factory. We don't really need that specific name anymore. It's just going to create view models for us. This is our simple trader view model factory now. So let's go ahead and rename that and let's get rid of all of these view model factories that we were registering like that and just to clean that up this is the factory that creates a view model from a view type so this is pretty much what our navigation bar uses to update the view and this is going to have to be updated as well but anyways we're not using factories what are we going to do instead what we are going to do instead is use delegates so I'm going to set up a delegate here it's going to be a public delegate. If you guys aren't familiar with delegates, no worries. We're going to go over them. And this is going to be a delegate that returns a T view model. And this delegate is going to be called create view model. And it's going to be generic. And it's not going to take any parameters. But we are going to have a constraint on T view model. And that T view model needs to be a view model base. So what the heck is this? Well a delegate pretty much just describes a function. So this is going to represent, this create view model is going to represent a function that takes in no parameters but returns a view model that needs to be a view model base. So this delegate, this function definition pretty much matches the function that our view model factories had because all those factory methods did was take in no parameters and they gave us back the view model that we needed. So what we can do is in our let's go to our simple trader view model factory instead of depending on these factories that no longer exist we can just depend on that delegate called create view model and all this is going to be is a function that'll create a home view model. So we can do that for a bar view model as well. And we should update these names as well. Let's actually knock out this constructor. And we're going to call this just create by view model. We'll call this create login view model. Don't really need the factory name anymore because these aren't factories, they're just functions create portfolio view model and create home view model and now let's go ahead and generate a constructor that takes all of these yeah, let's clean this up a little bit and now in our create view model so if the view type is a login we're just going to call that create login view model function and let's go ahead and do that for all of these other view types. So create home view model and create portfolio view model 
and create by view model and this doesn't like that because it's a function we need to call that function get that view model back and there we go so that's actually all we need to do here so let's go ahead into our dependency injection container now so we register a simple trader view model factory but now this simple trader view model factory takes all of these fields so we need to register these delegates in our dependency injection container so that our application knows how to create those view models so let's go into our app.xaml and let's go ahead and set up these delegates so let's add a singleton for a create view model and the first one we're going to do is let's go ahead and do the home view model so to register this we are going to register it with a callback and we're going to be able to get our services that we've registered throughout our container so we need to return a create view model function so let's go back into our create view model delegate this function needs to take no parameters and give back a t view model so that's what we're going to do so here we're going to define our lambda as you can see this is a function takes no parameters and it just needs to give us back a home view model so we're going to create a new home view model and now this needs a major index listing view model which we're going to create by calling major index listing view model and load that view model and now this takes a major index service which we are going to get from our service container so get required service and major index service like that let's put some parentheses there call that method and let me just clean this up a little bit because it's kinda hard to read so I think that looks good so all that we're doing is registering this function to create a home view model so now this is gonna get passed in to our view model factory and now this is just a function and we just call that function oh, right here and it'll give us back a new home view model with all of these parameters so that is great and we don't need a factory for it it's all controlled in our service container so let's go ahead and register some other view models so one thing that we need to account for is the by view model so if we recall the by view model we want the same instance throughout our entire application so we're going to register this a little bit differently so this is going to be that create view model delegate but this time it's for a by view model and we're going to take our services again so we can get the stuff that we register in our application and all that we're actually going to do here is of course return that function but this function is just going to get our single by view model instance that we register in our application so we can get the required service and that's going to be the by view model so it's going to return its create view model function it's going to return the by view model that we register in this container and we are going to register that let's go ahead and register that up here right here by view model so by doing this we register the by view model as a singleton that means we will get the same by view model instance throughout our entire application so that matches the use case that we need so let's say down the road we want a new by view model instance every time that we want to create a by view model well then to do that we would just set up this create view model delegate to return a new by view model and then pass in the services from our service container but that's not what we want we can just have one by view model for our entire application so now let's go ahead and finish up with our other services let's go ahead and register the portfolio view model and I'm actually going to make this similar to the by view model so I'm only going to have one for our entire application and the reason for that is because we haven't even created the portfolio view model so we can just have one and we'll see how it grows because we might have to switch it to a view model where we need a new instance every time we ask for one all right so last but not least we need to register our login view model so let's add a singleton for that create view model 
the delegate that's going to give us back a login view model. And this is going to take our services, of course. And it's going to return a function. And this is going to be a new login view model. But now this takes a bunch of services. So let's get our iAuthenticator, which we do register just below right here. So we'll grab that service. And then we need an iRenavigator. So how are we going to do that? Well, we actually haven't updated our renavigator yet. Because if we go to our renavigator, which we did last episode, so we have this view model factory renavigator. And this takes a simple trader view model factory, but that doesn't exist anymore. So what we can do instead is just make this our create view model delegate. And now we can just pass in any of the create view model delegates that we register in our dependency injection container. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's knock out this constructor and just regenerate it. And we'll call this create view model. Again, just a function. Let's generate that constructor. And now we're just going to call that function. Like that. And we could actually probably rename this file. Maybe we should call it view model, I don't know, view model delegate renavigator. That works. And that's all we have to do there. So now our login view model needs that iRenavigator. And the iRenavigator is going to be a new view model delegate renavigator. And we want to renavigate to, let's renavigate to the home view model after we log in. So now this view model delegate renavigator, it needs an iNavigator and a create view model delegate that we've already registered. So we can get both of those from our dependency injection container. And now thinking about it, I think we can just register this view model delegate renavigator for a home view model because we've already registered all the services that it needs. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's just do it right here. So add a singleton for a view model delegate renavigator for a home view model like that and it'll automatically resolve both of these services because we register them so let's just grab that view model delegate renavigator from our dependency injection container for a home view model cool so that should all work let's go ahead and test this out so we've knocked out all of our factories and everything should still work go ahead and log in And boom, just like that, get taken right to the home view model. So that is awesome. Now, one thing I want to show off is that, so say I go to the buy view and back to the home view. As you saw, it actually creates a new instance of the home view model whenever we go back to this home page. And let me just prove that. Let's go to our home view model, put a breakpoint in the constructor just to show that a new instance is being created. And of course, we hit that breakpoint. Now, this is actually a problem right now because the API that we use to get major index information, it actually has a limit of, I think, 250 requests per month. So I don't want to hit that limit. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to set up my home view model to be one instance per the entire application. So I'm going to show how we can go from creating a new home view model every time we ask for one to just having one per application because I don't want to call this major index service and call that API every single time I go to the home view because I need to conserve my API requests. So what we're going to do is add a singleton for the home view model. So we're going to register this home view model in pretty much the same way that we create it in this delegate down here. So we're going to take our services and all we're going to do is copy that. I think we can copy all of it. And actually, I don't want this in brackets. So let's just register it like that. Get rid of this. And let's move this up a line. And there we go. Okay, so we register the home view model. And now in our create view model delegate, we can just get that required service that we register right here as a singleton. So that means there's only one home view model 
in our entire application and we're just grabbing it from our service container with this get required service and there we go so now let's try this again so let's put that breakpoint back let's go to these other views and now I do not hit that breakpoint because we're not creating a new home view model and we only have one for the entire application so in my opinion I actually like these delegates because they're still pretty powerful I can control everything I need with my view model lifetime just in my dependency injection container now some people might feel differently because it's almost like your dependency injection container is doing too much whereas before you could have just handled this all in your view model factory and it might have been more cleaner to read than registering these singletons and just having it all in your service container so let me know what you guys think about this I personally enjoy it because I feel like managing the lifetime of these view models kinda should be done in your service container and it also takes away all those factories that we were creating so let me know what you guys think about this in the comments but other than that thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys learned something from this video